last week has been a bit of a chaos and to be honest I had some struggles trying to get this video together. There's been lots of thoughts, ups and downs, uh, but yeah, let's just get straight into it. If you didn't know, one of my goals for this month is to create a picture book scene out of the illustrations that I made in Inktober. So to start figuring out, I actually headed over to the Good Ship Illustration picture book course that I always go on about at this point, uh, just to get some tips and just have like a refresh of what is it that I'm trying to make happen? Just playing around with um, sizes and I can get six pages and a front and back cover in here, very small. And then I thought, okay, right, how does it look like with a A3 piece of paper? I also pulled out some scenes that I've done in the past. So this was um, a year ago, and it was about a special memory I had, first boat trip. I thought this was actually my first scene, but it turns out it isn't, because two years ago before that, <laughs> This is actually my wedding invitation to all of my friends and family. Again, using an A3 piece of paper, basically painted and drew all of this. I played around with it in Photoshop. Ha, 2019. That's kind of like made me feel a bit better. <laughs> the fact that I've done it before, in a way. I'm gonna base it on this size. Okay, so these are my Inktober, the actual Inktober pictures I've made. It, look, it reminds me of like a Polaroid. Shake it, shake, 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 shake it. I need to find a way to edit this down and make it into a story that is a bit more flippable. I need to figure it out. Images like this, like, I'm not happy with it, okay? I'm gonna be really honest, I'm not happy with it, but that's not the point of this task. This task is to help me figure out how I can construct a picture book scene. Oh, and also, another thing I was thinking about is, I was actually looking at real picture books. These are like my two favorite picture books currently. Oh my gosh, this one makes me laugh so hard. I am an artist. It's about a boy. He's like a really great artist, but then mum thinks otherwise, and it's all about like the different perceptions, but on the same thing. And ah, uh, it was one of the picture books that I came across that just made me laugh out loud, like hard. Um, so this is I am an artist by Marta Altes, and you got leaves by Stephen Hogton. This one made me cry. Well, not like proper sobbing cry because I actually read this in a bookshop in public. So I had watery eyes, but look at the illustrations in here. It's about this big tree looking after this small tree and how he needs to walk the circle of life. So yes, really, really wonderful books. Anyway, so I was thinking about how these lovely author illustrators actually put the books together. I know there's like a whole team behind it, but let, let's just do this for education's sake. So this is stuck down, but not the whole page. So they got an extra page. <gasps> this makes sense. Okay, okay, I can get really technical with this because I used to be a stationary arts and craft. <laughs> Fire, so I kind of know what things are made out of, like the weight um, of the of the card. And based on these two picture books, these are the basis of the things that makes up a picture book, um, along with beautiful illustrations. But it's okay. As long as I have these things in here, it kind of is like a scene picture book, a picture book scene. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so that's decided. Let's uh, let's get going. So this is where things get a bit messy. Technology. <laughs> I've used Photoshop before, but I've not resubscribed to it for a long time, and I've been looking for alternatives because yeah, uh, starting building my portfolio, doing these like picture books, 
and scene making i really need a good photo editing software and i thought about moving over to affinity i've heard really good things about it it's a one-off payment and they had a black friday deal happening so just had to bag it but it didn't work on my computer i had to update my software and that took a while my affinity started working but my final cut pro now has stopped working and needs me to do another update um that is my video editing software that i use for these youtube videos I guess in the grand scheme of things they're not like not figure outable but it's just taking time and I'm just a little bit frustrated because I feel like I'm on the roll and I was hoping to get further along with it but my time ran out this week and I guess it also doesn't help that I spontaneously joined another Instagram art challenge. What can I say? I can't help myself. <laughs> Especially because this one, I'll be doing it with some friends who are holding me accountable for it. So if you haven't heard yet, Orange Beak is doing a Instagram challenge for December and the aim is to do two a week. So there's six illustrations that we're going to be doing. It is for a competition, but I don't want to be thinking about it as a competition, but more of a way to get some more work out for my portfolio and just experiment. So yeah, I spent this week creating the thumbnails and I've been applying the things that I've learnt in the past challenges, which I've shared in Folktale Week and the Inktober video. So I really wanted to try this new technique which requires my computer to work but I'm already late because of the technical issues that I'm experiencing and I'm okay with that because the point is to create work for my portfolio and that I'm excited about the project. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Finally, I just wanted to mention something that I got rejected for because the whole point of this channel is just to be open and normalise this exact situation the progress so i applied for the picture hook buddy scheme application uh which i didn't get and i will link this below if this is the first time that you're hearing about it um it's a scheme where we <laughs> creative artists can be paired with established children's picture book illustrators for six months um and yeah i had to pay 15 pounds to be considered for it and i guess my material is just not strong enough yet maybe possibly um i've not got a portfolio and i'm sure there are like a lot more stronger competitors out there i will apply again in the future but yeah i just wanted to kind of highlight that because there's a lot of uncomfortability that comes with rejection and as i said i've learned that this is part of the process and now i just take it with a pinch of salt it's about just keep on pushing through this uncomfortability not everyone is actually going to like our work and like us and that that's okay like we're not everybody's cup of tea and not everybody is our cup of tea i think the most important thing that i can do right now is just to focus on things that i am in control of um to keep learning and creating work that truly resonates with me and my practice and just to keep pushing through and keep keep making really and then i guess that way when i do achieve something i will appreciate it more it, it's a yin and yang thing like experience the bad to appreciate the good uh, so if you've been rejected recently for anything i feel you we got this keep on going keep on going <laughs> and on that note i hope you've had a lovely week it is getting really cold and frosty here in uk and my daughter is asleep i am going to work on getting this video out hopefully my final cop pro works if not then i'm gonna have to find a way to make this work and sorry that is late uh remember to stay true to yourself see you in the next one and yeah hope to see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>